I'm like, I'm a grown up. I want to see, I want to see that doll run around with a knife and just stab people. I want to see a spinoff where you have that doll fight Chucky. I like, where's horror? No one wants to see this shit. Well, speaking of Chucky, there's a Chucky TV show that just finished its third season, and that show's violent as shit. Chucky killed the president. He gouged his eyeballs out. Nice. Chucky in the White House. That was the third season. It was great. I heard it's he getting said a new, canceled. Uh, I, I think they're not sure if it's being renewed yet. I don't think it's canceled. I've seen a hashtag called Renew Chucky. Yeah, because it's like they weren't sure if it was going to be renewed yeah. yet. They should, though. The third season, Chucky in the White House. He... he uh, uh, forces the president by gunpoint to send a nuke to the North Pole just to be a dick, just to convince kids that the Santa Claus got blown up. That's so <laughs> awesome. That's to... my video review of Chucky. It's 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 wonderful. That's art. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, is it like a Trump-like president, or is it just generic president? It's generic. It's it's Devin Sawa. Devin Sawa's the president. De- Devin Sawa has played like five characters on this show now. He keeps getting killed and then coming back as a new character. Huh. Um, but yeah, he's like, I think just because they wanted to avoid any sort of like real world politics stuff, because it's not, sure. it's not what the show is about. It's not a political satire. It's just the concept of Chucky in the White House is funny. Sure. So that's the premise of the season. And he kills people in ridiculous, over the top ways. And Brad Dorff swears a bunch. He hasn't skipped a beat. He's been playing Chucky now for like 30 plus years. Jennifer Tilly. Jennifer Tilly shows oh, up. Okay. She's, she's, she's great on it. It's a quality show. Some people watch it, but... What channel is on? Uh, it's got a weird release. It's on, like, Sci-Fi, and then it gets released on Peacock the next day. Something weird. Oh, Peacock. Well, I got so, Peacock. There you go. So, yeah, there you go. I, I bought the the, uh, the Chucky, all Chucky movies on Blu-ray. Oh. Because after the second one, I think I kind of stopped, so I may do a Chucky marathon. Ooh. And then get into the Chucky show. Well, that's the interesting thing is that it's continued. There was that Child's Play remake, which is kind of in its own little pocket. But other than that, other than like Star Wars, I can't think of another series that's gone on for this long and has remained in the same like continuity. They don't ignore anything. They've never soft rebooted stuff. Even when the movies get ridiculous, like nobody likes Seed of Chucky. I kind of like it, but uh, people didn't like it because it was too silly and too comedic and... But they've still continued, like, plot lines from that movie are still going on in the series. Like, Interesting. In, yeah, it just continued to stay in continuity and, and grow and shift and change. They've done a lot with the concept of a killer doll. Like, those first three movies are very, like, you have your first movie and then the sequels are very, like, traditional sequels. But then after that, Chucky got a wife. Chucky had a, a child that had, like, confused about their own gender. And then that child got split into two human children. And <laughs> it's just, it's gone everywhere. So He's it's been a, to the White House. It's the He's rare, been exercised. Rare case. <laughs> we always talk about those perfect, perfect movies. You know, mm-hmm. your Jaws and be sequelized. Well, Halloween, we always bring Halloween, out, yeah. yeah, yeah. And Chucky is one where it's like, or Child's Play, where it's like it's a, a doll gets possessed and it kills. <laughs> You stupid bitch, you filthy slut! Did you fuck with me? It's such a simple concept. Such a simple concept, perfect, one and done. Yeah. But but they've a, they've a, been able to expand on it and go into all to these the rule, apparently. very weird direct I think because they keep like refreshing it with new weird ideas. Yeah. And that helps. And that's the way to do it. Yeah. They, they go out of your safety zone, mm-hmm. out of your comfort zone. Chucky's grown and changed as a person, he's which is older. really bizarre. I see pictures of him as an elderly man. He, he starts to actually die in the new season, and yeah, he gets all wrinkled, and he's like going to die for real because he always dies and comes back. And that's but is kind he of a joke, is but. he still possessed by the same spirit of yeah. the serial killer? But yeah. how does the plastic doll age? <laughs> voodoo magic. Voodoo magic. I, I, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I love he goes to a voodoo doctor that like you know uh diagnoses him because he has he got exercised in the season before that so he has some like like catholic in him and that's what's making him age because he's not fully voodoo it's it goes <laughs> it's it's very silly it's great well blumhouse should take this concept and water it down to a g-rated film <laughs> fuck you my three gun <laughs> <laughs> 